Francisco Lima Sousa, or Chico as he's called, lives in the heart of Brazil's Amazon rainforest. He's 61, but can still climb up an acai tree in the blink of an eye. The fruit is too green, he says, so he slides down without it. He also grows cocoa, used for making chocolate, manioc, beans, and raises chickens. We're living in an era in which we don't need to think about wealth, but about survival. If you have enough to buy shoes, you can produce food, which are the essentials along with health. You can live well. Chico is one of the founders of a sustainable development settlement. Here in Anapu, there are 160 families who live off the forest without destroying it. But this oasis is being increasingly ravaged. This is what the untouched Amazon rainforest looks like, almost impenetrable. And just across the road here is the perfect example of what Brazil's president calls opening up the Amazon for economic development and progress. Protecting the forest from illegal loggers and cattle farmers is dangerous. Chico takes us to see the charred remains of what was the settlement's community center. The land grabbers wanted to take our land and thought if they burned down our community area, we wouldn't be able to rebuild again and leave. Nineteen people have been murdered here in Anapu in killings related to land disputes. Chico shows us where he was stabbed a few years ago. The knife pierced his lung. With only three environmental agency officers assigned to an area larger than all of England, it's almost impossible to protect the community or the forest, says Pará State Prosecutor Ubiratan Caseta. The illegal activities that impact the environment, such as mining and logging, are done in the most remote areas where the local power structure is linked to criminals. And now we have severe budget cuts for policing along with the government discourse that encourages illegal activities. Most of the members of the community were too afraid to appear on camera, but Chico remains defiant. Even so, you don't have to look far to see that at least for now, he's losing the battle to preserve his rainforest. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Anapu, Brazil.